Hi, Jim Grady here. We're going to concentrate on round number six of the seven champion rounds. We're going to concentrate on what we call setups. You know, if you, we talk a lot, if you train with me, we're going to talk a lot about defensive mistakes. In other words, instead of thinking on my terms of what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on my opponent and see what his weaknesses are. In other words, they come out and their left hand's low or they're overextending on their catch, or any defensive mistake, we need to be able to exploit that. But just like anything in martial arts, you have to work it. You have to you know, get that uh, counter down, or that indirect angular attack down, or that broken rhythm down, or like today, the setups down. So I'm gonna give you three good setups that I just love, I use them all the time, but the main thing is give you the concept and the idea of setups. Uh, one thing I learned a long time ago, back in, especially in the days of working with the great champions I was able to with the United States Karate team, is we all agree that the best thing you can do is work in what we call opposites. Get someone thinking high, attack low. Get someone thinking low, attack high. And I think you'll get that from these setups. All right, here we go, setups. Got any stance? All right, ladies, let's go ahead. And what we're gonna first off, work on a jab high. Now realize when I jab, I can jab the belly, I can jab the chest, I can jab the chin, I can jab the forehead. These first two jabs are gonna be high. So we're gonna take a little step in high jab. Ready, jab high, there you go, one more time. Jab high, and now we're gonna do what we call a feint. Now what's the difference between a fake and a feint? A fake, remember, a fake, to be a fake, we have to gain distance and time. We fake, take a little step, and then we take a full step. We gain a quarter step. Faint, there is no distance. We're not gaining distance, we're only gaining time because all we're trying to do is get our opponent to cut. Hey, look up here. My hand goes up as my head drops and I go straight right hand to the body, but my real goal, boom, is come back with that really power left hook because again, all that power off that lead leg. So let's try this again. Watch if this works. Let's go ahead and jab high, shoom, jab high, shoom, and again, faint. A feint, again, is not a complete technique. I'm just kind of, hey, you know, normally my opponent's gonna see and react to the large body movement, head dropping, shoulders dropping. But I've already set them thinking high. So if I can at least kind of get them high. So let's do this together. Let's go high, boom. That way, hopefully his eyes go with that hand. And this is where it's so important we bend those knees to get way down. So when I throw that straight right hand, that if he throws a counter, it goes over my head. And now if I get way down, then all that weight's on that front foot, and I'm lifting, bam, coming up. And even if I only come back to 50-50, when I, you know, of course the goal is 60-40, but even if I come back 50-50, that's a lot of power. Now, that's the end of the combination as far as working it. There's nothing no wrong if I'm on a heavy bag to then finish with a combination and maybe finish with a kick. But this is how we work it. Now, if you notice, we're a little, got a little tight space, in these rounds, we don't take away, we add. So of course we stole explosive jab, and normally we'd be doing lateral movement, but we got a little tight space here. So we're not gonna move laterally, but you should, working this in the mirror, you shouldn't just be standing here jabbing, jabbing, you should be sidestepping left, sidestepping right, and so forth. A little bit cramped, so we're just gonna work the interactive drill with you. All right, here we go, guys. Ready, jab high, jab high. Ready, free straight in the fang. Boom, see the head drop, so the hand goes. See the knees bend, straight right hand to the body. Look at all that weight, come back with the hook, boom. Because really that's what I'm trying to hit them with. You know, the old idea is hitting opposites. I go way high, I go way low. You know, the odds of him realizing that my ultimate goal is to hit him with the left, with the left hook to the right side of his face are slim to none. Most guys are not gonna have that defense there. Most people aren't taught proper defense, so that's why we're doing that. You know, you of course are gonna have that defense there, but a lot of your opponents are not. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get them right there with that left hook to the side of the head. So let's try this again. Ready, give me a jab high. Jab high. Big high, low, back, boom. Back outside. Now this time I'm gonna finish off with a kick. So we're gonna go jab high. Stay with me, ladies. Jab high, jab high, faint. Drop, finish, and now out of kick, boom. And again, as I kick, when should I feel that jab? After I land the kick, before I feel the kick, 
or as I land the kick. And of course it's as I land the kick. If my opponents are waiting to defend against my kick and I'm now fighting on one foot, I'm in trouble. So you want to get in the habit of kicking and as you land, boom, throw that punch out there. Now I'm not a southpaw. I don't want to fight in this position. So what am I going to do? I'm going to back up, switch my feet. Here we go. Let's try it again. So we don't stand, that combination of ants come back in good balance. Here we go, ladies. Wait, jab high. Jab high. Ready, fake. Straight right hand, come back. Okay. Jab, jab. Good. You can also work on changing angle out. And again, we're a little tight here. We're going to change angle out left, ladies. So as we come out, we're going that direction. Let's try it again. Ready, jab high. Jab high. Ready, go. Pow, pow. Kick. Jab out, jab out the back. So let's break it down a little slower. Again, going to the forehead. Explosive jab, boom. Explosive jab, boom. And as I do the jab, watch my head drop. The faint. I don't really care if I feel the jab, other than to say, hey, look up here. Straight right hand to the body. This isn't where I'm really trying to really hurt him. Bam, I try to hit him with that left hook. And then back outside. All right, so that's our first setup. And uh, one of my favorites, one that I've used many, many times.